Hi, I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand the very basic concept of square roots. We'll begin with a simple example. Let us say we are multiplying two numbers 10 and 10. Number with itself 10 times 10. What do we get? We get 100. Now 10 times 10 can also be written as 10 square, right? So we say square of 10 is 100. Now the reverse process to get 10 from 100, we have square root. So now we are introducing this symbol here. This is the square root symbol. Square root of 100, we say is, is 10. So that is the basic concept of square root. Let me give you one more example. Let us say we have 4 times 4. Now 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 4 is also like 4 square, right? So 4 square is 16. Now what is square root of 16? Square root of 16 is the number 4. One of the common factors. Do you get the point? So square root is written as shown here. That's the symbol for square root. Let me write down here. This is the symbol for square root. So square root of a number is one of the two equal factors of that number. So let me write it in the reverse way. Let me take example as 81. Now 81 has many factors. We can write 81 as 9 times 9. Now 9 times 9 means two same factors, right? In that case, we could say that square root of 81 is what? One of the two equal factors, which is 9. Do you get the idea? So that is the very basic concept of square roots. We can now say that a square root is 1 of the two equal factors of a number. So that is how we can actually get square root. The examples which we are taking up now, they are also called perfect squares because 100 has 10 as an equal factor, correct? It may not be always true for all the numbers. So these numbers which we are taking up in this particular example are the perfect squares. Let me take some more. For example, now we have to find square root of 25. So how can you find square root of 25? Now we know to find square root of 25, we need to find two factors of 25 which are exactly same. So you could say 25 is 5 times 5. Do you get the idea, right? 5 times 5. So square root of 25 is one of these two equal factors. So it is number 5. Okay, so that is the concept. So what is square root of 9? Let this be a practice question for you. So you can calculate like this also. Square root, the symbol is like this. Square root of 9, 9 is 3 times 3. So we can write this as 3 times 3. And square root is one of the two equal factors. One of the two equal factors means two equal factors are 3 and 3. So one of the two, that means the number 3. Correct? So that is how you find the square root of a number. So here is a test question for you. What is square root of 49, right? So you need to figure out two numbers, same numbers, which when multiplied will give you 49 and one of them will be taken as the square root of 49, correct? So likewise, you can do such questions. Now let me give you some more for practice. Let's say we have square root of 900. Now square root of 900 will be for 9, we could write like this. 9 is 3 times 3 and 100 is 10 times 10, right? So you can imagine this to be like 30 times 30, right? And therefore, we could write square root of 900 as 30. So that is how we can extend 
for bigger numbers, right? So we can have many factors. Combine the factors so that you have equal factors, correct? Now apply this uh, method to find square root of 1600, right? Square root of 100 is 10, square root of 16 is 4, so 4 times 10 should be your answer, right? So anyway, try it out. I hope this helps you to understand the very basic concept of finding or mentally calculating square root of numbers. We'll move on to the next exercise which will give you some more practice. Thank you and all the best.